Mental health. It's an issue that's hard to bring up and discuss with the people around you. However, Nate looked to end the stigma by inviting students to share their stories this week on Bell Let's Talk Day. We go now to Tegan Gieselbrecht with more on this story. Thanks, guys. Every day, students walk past each other in the hallways. Many seem fine on the outside, but on the inside, they're struggling with their mental health. January 30th was Bell Let's Talk Day, a day designed to reduce the stigma associated with mental health. Nate took part in the event by setting up various activities around campus. The main event had students and staff sharing their personal struggles. Having open discussions around mental health is key to ending the stigma. As we build a community and supports, we start to see that everyone has had some sort of issue at some time in their life, and we hear their stories of success and see how we can be successful. Nate's athletes also joined in on the conversation. Contrary to popular belief, student athletes also sometimes struggle with their own mental health. However, they find strength and support in one another. I have a great support system within my team. We are here for each other, we support each other, we talk each other through things, so that's a great thing to have. Definitely. All together, Bell Let's Talk raised more than $7.2 million for mental health initiatives. Although Bell Let's Talk Day has passed, Nate has expressed the importance of keeping the conversation going all year round. According to counselors, Nate is experiencing more students than ever coming forward about their mental health. Bell Let's Talk Day may be a huge contributor as to why the walls are slowly coming down on the stigma surrounding mental health. From Nate News Watch, I'm Tegan Gieselbreck. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Tegan. That's our Tegan Gieselbreck reporting.